thrived under the guidance of the trade order. And for centuries, we enjoyed peace and prosperity. The ways of war had been long forgotten. Then the aliens came. Despite fleeing from their own destruction, they overran our meager defenses, enslaved our people, and plundered our worlds. Desperate and unable to mount a resistance on their own, many worlds ceded their authority, transforming the Order into the Traitor Emergency Coalition. United under a single banner, we finally stood a fighting chance. And our vast commercial fleet was slowly retooled into a shield against the alien advance. It seemed our fortunes were turning as we mounted a counter-offensive. Such hope was short-lived. The long-banished deviants, now calling themselves the Advent, returned more powerful and twisted than we could have imagined. Many undefended worlds fell to their corruption before we could redirect forces from the alien front. Caught between the advent's revenge and the alien onslaught, we were forced to dig in. We built up mighty defenses to outlast our enemies. And eventually, we even sought peace. Now, after 30 years of constant warfare, our alliances are breaking down. The coalition is split between those who would withdraw and those who would lash out. Rebellion has even started to fracture the unity of the Advent. I'm sure they still want to destroy us or one another. Assault is become increasingly desperate. Most strangely, their outcasts may end up being our salvation. Especially if the warning is true. Welcome to my first official live broadcast. Yes, I will be playing Sins of the Solar Empire Rebellion. This is going to be a TEC walkthrough. <coughs> it's alright. I do have a bit of a cough, so if you hear me coughing in the background, and, oh well. This is going to end up being placed on YouTube after I'm done recording. Let's see here. Let's see here, let's go with some light green and mass symbol. That works. Alrighty, so we're gonna be playing uh this on Systems of War. This is one of my favorite maps out of the entire game. Some people like Cornex Cross, so on and so forth. I like Systems of War. It gives us gives each player a uh, unique starting position, well not exactly neat, but everyone starts off from basically the same foot. There's a scene. Why did I keep doing that? I don't know. But gives everyone a uh, unique yeah, I keep using the word unique, but a relatively even starting position location. location. Everything really mapped out uh, the same. The planets are in different positions, but it's the same starting system. And there's four of them. Um, and there is a central um, system. system that is everything. There's pirates in there, so on and so forth. I'm going to be playing as the TEC, the Trader Emergency Coalition. Re Rebels? 
samples and we'll see how far we get with that. that. For all of those YouTube viewers out there, there, I have to start a new Rebellion playset due to the last patch that changed the amount. Oh cool, we got a purple starting spot. Anyway, three of those, one of those. Not one of those, one of those. And just do it. And get it out of the way. One of those idiots. If it's out there. So I don't I'll play with it. the autoplay structures on for a fairly good reason. So as you can see we start here, another player starts here, another if player starts there. here, another player starts I'll here. Find it. Here, and this is that central system. This is generally the melting pot between the three AIs. I don't enter into that equation until I am good and ready to. I it's just hang there. back at this, oh, my star. It. And you'll see why very soon. Come on. Come on. There we go. Alrighty. So, I don't generally use my directionals that much. I tend to use the uh, other ones. Let's see if I can hit additional no. credits required. Oh well. Let's see. You I'll can find a way. Here. All packed up and ready to go. You explore. Point me in the right direction. Let's get it going. I'll move the rest of the star. You Structure complete. Safe side. Reporting for duty. For a second. <coughs> <coughs> All right. If anyone has problems hearing me, me on YouTube, since I have no viewers with me on Twitch at this point, all right. What do you need to idiots. know? You can go again. On my way. Yes, I do call my scouts idiots. Reporting for duty. They are idiots. They do nothing worthwhile with their lives. Absolutely nothing until late game. Then they do something useful. All right, so. I always like to go for it for the ease of the high density zoning and the sensor drones first. I'll go with the sensor drones this time. Reporting for duty. It's not the one I generally go with. How anymore. can I be of service? Ugh. Also, haven't dropped any frames yet. That's actually pretty nice, and it looks like you guys are keeping up pretty well. So. Hopefully both of these are asked. Reporting for duty. These guys are what do you need to scouts. Know? They're just going to sit there. Scouts have found a colonizable planet. Good. Where do you need I always me? send my capital ship in alone on these slow. guys. Wait for my fleet scouts to build up. Found a colonizable First planet. thing I like to do right off the bat is go ahead and get the next uh, fleet logistics scouts slot opened up. Scouts have found up. a colonizable planet. So... Each of these starting systems starts like this. This one's an asteroid. I know that from experience. You got two desert worlds, one Terran, that is the home world, and then two asteroids and, of course, a star. star general, the star has generally stellar storms Reporting and for duty. solar radiation. Solar radiation is always nice. As for solar storms, eh, you can take it or leave it. Uh, the central star has that solar radiation and it has one other ability I don't remember what it is is and you don't figure that out until you're until you actually